हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू योर पीडिया आई एम जितेंद्र त्यागी एंड ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट वी हैव स्टार्टेड सीरीज फॉर पोस्ट गेट काउंसलिंग 2022 इन विच वी आर शेयरिंग विद यू सम इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस विच आर जनरली आस्ड इन डिफरेंट इंटरव्यूज एट डिफरेंट आई आई बेंगलुरु एंड अदर प्रीमियर इंस्टीट्यूट ओके सो इन दिस सीरीज टूडे आई विल डिस्कस वन इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन in most of the iits in most of the departments generally they ask some question related to graph okay so you should have a good command over uh, drawing different graphs okay so i have taken one important graph one important function whose graph is uh, many times they have asked in different institutions right so what is that function and how we can draw the graph of that function that we will understand in this lecture okay so that function is fx equal to e to the power fx equal to x into e to the power x product of algebraic function x and exponential function e to the power x many times many professors have asked this question to many students that uh, draw the graph of this function okay and uh, if you are not able to draw the exact graph then they just want to know your approach what points what important points you consider actually in plotting the graph they have a look on those considerations so that they get, get some idea about your thinking how do you think in uh, mathematics or especially in plotting graphs right so what steps you should try there that i am discussing here with the help of this example and i will explain you how to draw the graph properly in this situation okay so let us start first of all we will draw our coordinate system xy plane all of you can draw this now the first thing you can check that whether this graph passes through origin or not how will you get this if you put x equal to 0 and fx become 0 then it passes through origin clearly so here if you put x equal to 0 you get 0 into e to the power 0 so answer is 0 so y is 0 so obviously it will pass through origin okay so one point on the graph will be this origin okay now another point here we can see that uh, we must know some elementary graphs like e to the power x we all know that e to the power x is what e to the power x is always a positive function exponential function is always positive it is never negative we all know this okay so we know that e to the power x is always positive so when x is positive then this product is positive obviously so in this part graph will be in first quadrant okay because positive 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 and when x is negative in this interval okay so x is negative but e to the power x is still positive so negative into positive is negative so here graph will be in this section so the graph of this function will lie in first quadrant as well as third quadrant it will not lie in second quadrant or fourth quadrant this is the second point and one important point here is that you can mention these points while plotting the graph you can explain them that sir first of all x is 0 so y is 0 so graph will pass through origin okay now second thing you say that sir if we know that e to the power x is always positive so in this part this will be in first quadrant in this part it will be in third quadrant so you mention you tell them those points so that you, they will get some positive feelings about you right further now what are other important points other important points is that uh, you can check the behavior of this graph when x approaches infinity in this side to which number finite or unfinite uh, undefined number this is approaching okay so you can calculate limit extends to infinity x e to the power x if you try to compute this limit what you get x is infinity so this infinity into e to the power infinity e to the power infinity is always infinity so infinity multiplied by infinity you get a determinate form actually which is infinity so it means when x approaches infinity this graph approaches towards infinity so it will go upward actually in this side okay and another is 
when x approaches minus infinity to which number this graph approaches so you can tell them limit x tends to minus infinity then x e to the power x okay you compute this limit so if you put minus infinity here x equal to minus infinity e to the power minus infinity is zero so it is indeterminate form so you can convert it in the form limit x tends to minus infinity x upon e to the power minus x now which form do you get x is minus infinity okay upon e to the power minus of minus infinity is what e to the power infinity so you get infinity upon infinity form you can apply l hospitals rule here so equal to limit x tends to minus infinity now derivative of numerator x is 1 upon derivative of e to the power minus x is minus e to the power minus x now you put this limit minus infinity here so you get 1 upon minus of e to the power minus minus plus infinity so 1 upon infinity is 0 so equal to 0 so if we move towards this side towards minus infinity the graph approaches this line okay and obviously graph is in this section so it will try to approach like this one okay इसको अप्रोच करेगा एक्स एक्सेस को जब आप माइनस इनफिनिटी की तरफ मूव करेंगे ओके सो टू आइडियाज वी हैव गॉट दिस वन एंड दिस वन फ्रॉम द हेल्प ऑफ लिमिट्स नाउ व्हाट इन बिटवीन लेट अस कंसीडर अदर इंपोर्टेंट फैक्टर्स सो व्हेनेवर यू प्लॉट अ ग्राफ यू शुड ऑलवेज कंसीडर दीस फैक्टर्स व्हिच आई एम टेकिंग हियर इन कंसीडरेशन ओके सो कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट इंपोर्टेंट पॉइंट आवर नेक्स्ट इंपोर्टेंट पॉइंट इज the increasing decreasing behavior of a graph always important for us increasing decreasing nature of the graph okay so now i am deleting this all of you can calculate this limit so how we can check the increasing decreasing nature how we can check the continuity differentiability we know that e to the power x is always differentiable always continuous everywhere x is a polynomial linear polynomial everywhere differentiable everywhere continuous so this product is everywhere differentiable everywhere continuous so it will move smoothly over the entire real axis actually domain is r right so now let us compute f dash x to check the monotonicity of this function okay so f dash x is what equal to derivative of this using the product rule so we get e to the power x into x plus 1 okay now here x equal to minus 1 is one stationary point where this f dash x is coming to be 0 so x equal to minus 1 is important for us this is the stationary point of this function actually or we can call it as critical point also okay now we can see that for x greater than minus 1 to this side this derivative will be positive okay so if f dash x is positive in an interval we know that function is increasing strictly increasing so for all x greater than minus 1 it will be increasing function and uh, for x less than minus 1 this derivative is negative so it is decreasing function okay and what is the value of this function at minus 1 minus 1 e to the power minus 1 so minus 1 upon e actually so here this is the value of the function here it is increasing and this side it is decreasing okay so obviously this is a point of minima actually here we get a minima here because here graph is increasing and in this side it is decreasing so somehow it will look like this one okay now next point we know that in this part it will be increasing function but how will be it? its concavity it will increase like this one or this one or state we do not know so we need to check the concavity of the function also for that we need to compute double derivative f double dash x okay so compute double derivative here it is f dash x so f double dash x will be e to the power x into x plus 2 you can compute it using the product rule so next important point is minus 2 that is hypercritical point here minus 2 it is also important for us okay so what is the role of this minus 2 for x less than minus 2 this double derivative will be negative so concavity will be downward okay and for x greater than minus 2 f double dash x will be positive so concavity will be upward so here concavity will be downward here it will be upward increasing decreasing we all know so the graph will be like this 
approaching this horizontal axis and here we can see that concavity is downward here but at minus 2 it will change its concavity so we have to make it now upward okay here it is changing concavity and this is the point of minima here actually I am marking it here this is point of minima at x equal to minus 1 and now now it will be increasing and concavity will remain upward so it will increase like this one and it will pass through origin so obviously the graph will be like this one and everywhere the concavity will be upward in this side so after this minus 2 everywhere can draw such is that its concavity is upward okay like this one and here concavity is downward up to minus 2 okay and uh, up to minus 1 we can see that it is decreasing function up to here and after this it is increasing function all the conditions are satisfied so this is the graph of the given function x e to the power x and if you tell all these points to the professors who will ask you questions in exam obviously you will give a very good impression over them okay and your chance of selection will definitely increase And sometimes if you are not able to draw the actual graph, but if you mention them, all these points, obviously it will be good. Okay. So please remember the points which you should take care of while drawing any graph. And if I ask you the range of this function, you can see that range. What is the range? The minimum value of this function is occurring here and the minimum value we are getting here is uh, minus 1 upon e okay and it is increasing up to infinity so we can say that range of the function is minus 1 upon e to infinity okay so i hope you have understood the important graph and all the concept related and you will prepare these topics for your uh, counseling or your interview duration at the time of interviews def definitely this will help you okay and uh, if you are sure that you will get a score uh, above than average then you should start your preparation for interviews also from this time or, or onwards so you can watch all these important questions which I frequently upload on the panel okay on the our YouTube channel so you keep watching these questions and uh, remember these questions these will definitely help you in your a selection for MS program, PhD program and MTech program in certain IITs where they conduct the interviews. Okay. So all the best. We will meet in the next question. Thank you.